the chief of police in Charlottesville, Virginia, stepped down on Monday, two weeks after the release of a sharply critical report about the department's failure to contain violence this summer between white supremacists and counter-protesters, which left one demonstrator dead and dozens injured. The report found that as bloody fighting broke out, the police did not immediately intervene but remained behind barricades, and that they had no training in handling civil unrest. The city's plan to control the streets was much like it is on Saturday afternoon for a football game, despite warnings of a serious threat, concluded the report, which was overseen by a former United States attorney. Chief Al S. Thomas Jr., who has denied some of the accusations in the report, said on Monday that he was retiring. Nothing in my career has brought me more pride than serving as the police chief for the city of Charlottesville, he said in a statement released by the city. The violence in Charlottesville, over two days in August, sparked intense soul-searching nationally about emboldened white nationalism, which was heightened when President Trump did not unequivocally condemn the torch-carrying marchers who chanted neo-Nazi slogans. Home of the University of Virginia Charlottesville was targeted by foot soldiers of the so-called alt-right because it is a liberal bastion that has proposed removing Confederate monuments from city parks. According to the report released December 1 by Timothy J. Heafy, the former United States attorney hired by the city to investigate the violence, the city police failed to reach out to other cities where white nationalists and counter-demonstrators had clashed. Charlottesville police commanders did not give adequate training to officers, and in the peak period of violence, officers were pulled back to a safe zone while a large crowd fought on Market Street downtown. It was at that moment that a self-described neo-Nazi plowed his car into the crowd, according to the authorities, killing a counter-protester, Heather D. Heyer, and injuring 35 others. On Thursday the driver, James Alex Fields Jr., 20, was charged with first-degree murder in a Charlottesville court. The Hefe report, more than 200 pages long, accused Chief Thomas of trying to limit the scope of the investigation, deleting text messages that were relevant and falsifying a document implying that the department had made preparations for a mass disturbance. The report, drafted by M.R. Hefe's law firm, further criticized the chief, accusing him of trying to gag his department. Many officers with whom we spoke expressed concern that their truthful provision of critical information about the protest events would result in retaliation from Chief Thomas, the report said. At a news conference after the report's release on December 1, during which community members shouted at the chief, Kevin Martingale, a lawyer for Chief Thomas, denied that the chief had deleted relevant texts. We are a community divided, Chief Thomas said at the time. We are still a community in crisis.